Tomorrow is Sid's 10th birthday. Turning 10 is a big step in life, a little scary, but most of all exciting. Sid doesn't know that his parents are throwing him a surprise party. Let's keep that a secret for now. Nobody sees what Sid sees, a creative imagination full of mysteries and adventure. Sometimes Sid thinks so much that his thoughts almost become real. Is that possible? Sid thought to himself. We will soon find out. Up on the hill by Sid's house, on a swing, Sid swung and played. Most nights, Sid would come up here and watch the sunset. But it was on this night that a shooting star shot across the evening sky. Time to make a wish, Sid said to himself. Another wish among the stars. It was a warm summer night, not too hot and not too cold, just right. The moon was bright and the sky was clear. The owls hooed loudly with a distinct sound that echoed throughout the night. Sid was fast asleep in his bed. You could only imagine the dreams that he would be having on the eve of his 10th birthday. The clock struck 12. Sid's birthday had arrived. But that wasn't the only thing that arrived that night. Cautiously and carefully, a mysterious round metallic craft appeared in the sky above his bedroom, where Sid lay fast asleep. It shone its beam through Sid's bedroom window. The craft began to use its alien powers to pull Sid up into its opening. Is this a dream? Sid yelled out, but nobody could hear. Sid couldn't believe his eyes as the craft shot through the atmosphere, past the moon, across the distant stars, into the far beyond reaches of outer space. Sid looked back at the Earth. It was growing smaller and smaller. Eventually it was so small, almost to the size of a tiny blue marble. Where? Where are you taking me? Sid asked the two small alien creatures. No reply as they steered and dodged their way through the clouds of space and rock. The craft then made its approach to its final location, setting down onto the alien planet's surface. It all went silent. Sid couldn't see much apart from a small space station that was perched up on top of a large crater. All of a sudden, surprise! The friendly aliens have thrown Sid a surprise party on their home planet far, far away, hidden among the millions of stars in the night sky. Everybody danced and played and all celebrated Sid's big 10th birthday. It was now time for Sid to leave, but Sid had one last thing on his mind that he needed to say. Why? Why do all this just for me? Sid asked. The leader of the friendly alien creatures reached out his hand and gave Sid a strange looking golden watch. What is this? Sid asked. Tell the time and watch the time. Use the time. The time is yours. The aliens all said together, but in a communication unlike any other. But Sid could somehow understand them. home, back to Sid's bedroom. Sid lay in his bed, thinking and picturing everything that had just happened. What a night, Sid said softly, trying not to be too loud. I should send my wishes off to the shooting stars more often. Now wouldn't that be an adventure? <laughs>